Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of fractions, decimals, and percents. This is standard 6.4G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 21 of the 2024 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it. We will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a weather station reporting this five hundredths of an inch of rain. We need to find a measurement that is equivalent to that. And you notice all of our answer selections are in fractions. So we need to turn a fraction into a decimal or a decimal into a fraction, depending on which way you want to work this. Let's start here from the decimal. And let's first put this in place value form. All right, so that's going to be 0 0.05. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just write the value of each place underneath. That's the ones place, the tenths place. Since we're dealing with fractions, I'll write it in fractional form. And this is our hundredths place, so I'll write that in fractional form. So that's where I get my five hundredths. So how do I turn this five hundredths right, into uh, one of these other fractions, these equivalent fractions? So it's already in a fraction now. You can turn any decimal into a fraction. If you write it out in place value form, and then you just use that to figure out how far over does it go, tenths place, hundredths place, thousandths place, and then write it as either a mixed number or a fraction. So I've got it in a fraction, but I don't see five hundredths there. Well, when we're looking at five hundredths and we're looking at any fraction like this, we should be thinking, can this be simplified? Can it be reduced? And so what you're looking for is that you're looking for a number that would divide into both 5 and 100. And if you're thinking about it like this, right, you would think, okay, well, the only thing that can divide into 5, it's a prime number, is 1 and 5. So let's try 5. Because if I divide by 1, nothing's going to happen. It would stay the same. And the reason I'm dividing by 5 over 5 is because of what I just said. When you divide by 1, nothing happens. 5 fifths is really another way of saying 1. So that's why equivalent fractions are equal. Because you're dividing it by 1, you're just making it look different. So 5 divided by 5, now we go straight across the top, equals 1. And then 100 divided by 5 goes straight across the bottom. If you need to, you can skip count by 5s all the way up to 100. Or you can think, well, five cents is a nickel. How many nickels are in 100 cents or a dollar? And that's going to be 20. So we see this right there. So we see that as 1 20th. And so that's actually that line right there, that A. We see that's where we started, 0 0.05. So that is looking good. Let's double check some of these other ones. You might already know some of these as benchmark fractions. So let's look at this one half. How do I get that into a decimal? Well, I've got two options to go from a fraction to a decimal. So on this one, right, let's assume we don't know that what this are already is because of our benchmark fraction work. We can think if we can get our decimal, our fraction into a denominator of 10, 100, 1000, then we can easily change it. And I'm thinking I can change this into tenths, right? Because 2 times 5 makes 10, which means if I multiply the bottom by 5, I'm going to multiply the top by 5, because once again, 5 over 5 is 1. Half is the same as 5 tenths, so I can write that as 5 tenths if I know my place value, because there's my tenths place. So it has the same digits 0 and 5, but it's in the wrong place value. It's 1 fifth, right? You can multiply by something to get it to 10 hundred or 1,000. Let's go 10. I can just multiply by 2 over 2, right? And that's going to be 2 tenths. So I can write this as 2 tenths. And then I can do 1 fiftieth. I can't get that into a 10, but I can get that into, into 100 pretty easily. 50 times 2 makes 100. So that's going to end up being 2 hundredths. So I need to put that extra zero in there. So you see that's what all those are worth. So that's one way to turn a fraction into decimal. Another way is to divide up, right? So one half, you can just divide the denominator into the numerator. And what you would get would be 0 0.5, which works for smaller ones, but you see on something like that, it'd be a little bit more tricky. So our answer here is A.